before I start the video, I just want to make a quick announcement. As you've seen from the title of the video, I've been diagnosed with MS. Although I've only been diagnosed in the last six weeks, the neurologist thinks I've had it for between four and seven years. Very briefly, my symptoms started with my right leg going numb. Not entirely numb. Uh, probably better to say I had altered sensation. Uh, pins and needles, numbness, but also really sensitive. It's hard to explain the feeling exactly and it's also hard to explain to a health professional who isn't really that familiar with MS. Uh, like most people my age, I have uh, some lower back pain, but nothing very serious. And initially the altered sensation in my leg was put down to the lower back pain. Also the sensation would come and go, but it never really felt that serious. Last October, I had what I now know to be an MS flare-up when as well as my leg, the right hand side of my torso also went numb. Uh, and since then, I've had a lumbar puncture uh, and that's confirmed the MS. If anyone is interested to hear more about this, uh, more about my symptoms and how the lead up to and everything else, um, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video uh, explaining in more detail. I wish I'd been diagnosed sooner and if I had, then maybe I'd already be on treatment and it wouldn't have had progressed as far as it has. I'd love to think that if somebody watching this video who might have similar symptoms or even know somebody with similar symptoms, they might be able to act a little bit quicker than I did. Anyway, on with the video. This isn't going to win any metalwork awards, but it works perfectly for holding the pellets. I don't have a blowtorch to get it going, so I use this fire lighter. Within a few minutes, it's burning well enough to start adding more pellets. I use this offcut so I can double the amount of pellets I can add for a longer burn time. I'll probably look at making some sort of feeder for continuous burning. However, with the amount of pellets I've added here, it burns for just under an hour, so I don't need to be watching it too regularly. I think these temperatures are probably the best I've ever gotten. When it's finished burning all the pellets, I close off the top. And this bar cuts off the airflow to almost nothing so the stove will stay hot. But the gap here ensures it's never fully sealed. 